Happy Saturday! Today I was feeling a little crafty and I promised you guys that I would bring you along when I do some of my crafty planty things and I've already gotten started and I wanted to bring you along on the second leg of it. So today's video I want to bring you along while I craft. We could chat a little bit. Um, I'm probably going to break off to do some of the crafting because it's probably going to take me some time and there's some baking that needs to be done. Um, hmm, right? <laughs> I promise you there's no treats involved. <laughs> Although, no, there's no treats involved. But uh, there is some bake time and there's some learning because I'm just putzing. I don't really know what I'm doing but I'm figuring it out as I go along. So I wanted to bring you guys along with me because I already have one done and I'm excited and I want to share. Okay, so before we get started, let me introduce myself. My name is Yvette Boone. I'm a recovering software engineer and a lifelong creative hobbyist. And here on this channel, we create a safe space for black women to incorporate creative hobbies into their wellness practice. And I, and I'm a firm believer that creative hobbies can help ground you and keep you in a good place, right? They bring you so much more to your life than the money you spend on them, even though I spend a good amount. <laughs> no shade, no tea. There is a no judgment zone here. So we do not judge on how much you spend on your crafts. <laughs> so let me tell you what I've been doing. So... A couple of, I, I have a couple of crafts that I have, um, <laughs> I have blamed on my plants, right? So pottery, I love pottery. I love making pottery. I love looking at pottery. And what I did was when I first started getting into pottery, I was like, yeah, I'm making pots for my plants. <laughs> so I blamed it on that, right? <laughs> But truth be told, I wanted to do pottery for a very long time, even before I was as into plants as I have been for the last, I don't know, a long time. The craft that I'm working on today is polymer clay. Now, I'm no sculptist, um, sculptor, sculptist, I don't know the word. <laughs> I don't sculpt, <laughs> but I'm trying my hand at it. So the first thing I did, the first thing I wanted to make was a trellis for my Hoyas. So I decided that I was going to play around with this. Now the reason I chose polymer clay is because it's a little bendy and not too rigid, but it's plastic. So when you bake it, it becomes plastic. And because you can buy it colored already, you don't have to paint or putz around with that. Um, I just thought it was a really good medium to play around with. And I could make a trellis. I don't think I would have purchased this from the store. <laughs> but uh, because I made it, I'm gonna put it in my plants. Now I really, I'm enjoying the look of this. I think for a first attempt, this, I did pretty well. I like it. I'm going to use it, trust me when I tell you. I wanted to make sure that it was going to be short enough to fit on my shelves because my shelving is kind of short. So um, I took a wooden dowel, cut that down. I made a point, like I made a rounded sort of triangle and stuck it on the end. And I rolled the black out and covered the wooden dowel with the black polymer clay. And then I took and rolled a, they call this a cane. Rolled it up and sliced it. And as I made little slices, I don't think I have any in here. No, I don't. And then I took and cut it and I just placed them on here and smash them down. But I've been watching a couple of um, YouTube videos. People were making jewelry. And so some of the techniques that they used were really interesting. So I was like, okay, I'll just take that and put that and do that. And, and so before you know it, I came up with this little idea. Now, um, when, in doing this, it got me to thinking that there was a better way for me to make a 
trellis. So, and because I felt like the wood was too thick, it was really thick. And the, and I thought if I wanted to use like the little butterfly clips to clip the stems onto this, that might be kind of hard to do. So I went and purchased some wires. This is like 14 gauge, 14 gauge wire. So in the sculpting world, this would be considered the armature, which is like the skeleton that you put under the, um, the actual sculpture. I purchased that and I um, measured out what I thought would be long enough. And I came up with like a armature right so this was some like really organic design nothing like specific but i just kind of wanted something that would hold a plant you know on it and i wanted to double it up here to kind of make it sturdy and so it will go in the dirt well so what i want to do with this is i want to take and cover the um cover this up with the clay so I will take a sheet like this and then cut wrap it around around the whole thing and then cover it up and then bake it right and so I've already done one not this design I kind of made different designs for each and I made this little heart <laughs> on camera it looks really cute I've already baked this so I've already put this in baked it and each iteration of <laughs> things that I'm doing, I'm I'm learning things that I that will make it better. This is plastic though, so when you cure it in the oven, you bake it in the oven for like 15 minutes or so at a really low temperature, but it literally cures it and it becomes hard. So you see this is really soft and pliable. And then when you bake it, it becomes really hard. Now of course this has wire underneath of it, but pretty much that's what I'm doing so what I want to do now is I want to do that same thing to this design because I want to make one more and yeah see because this is already thick and I don't think I like how thick this already is I don't know so let me tell you the two other projects that I'm working on because what I'm probably gonna do is I'm probably going to work and probably not talk too much because as you see, I cannot do two things at one time. So I was thinking, this is so cute. I don't know if you can really see what it is. Oh, maybe get my face out of it. So it's really just a potted plant and I did it all in white only because I wanted to see if I could actually do it but it's just the cutest little thing. And what I was thinking I can do with it is I could um, make like a little stake to go inside of the plant and you could decorate the top of your soil, right? Like, you know, you have those pots and it, you see too much dirt. <laughs> You're like, why am I seeing so much dirt? Or I could use it to, to um, to stake down like a stem that is coming up and you know how you use the little the little pins. I could make pins and oh that would be cute. Oh let me show you let me show you exactly what I'm working with. Oh it doesn't have the brand the stuff. But it's scalp it, it's the Sculpey Primo. So this is the Sculpey Primo but I also have the regular Sculpey. Let me see if I got the box still. Okay, so that's the original sculpting. Um, I was able to get that in bulk, like three pounds, versus buying like this little teeny pack for like two or three dollars, right? So the way I thought to use it was like accent color, but use like a base color. Even if I took this and I colored this, cause you can mix these two together, right? Um, not actually it's working out pretty well, but this is really sticky and probably more difficult to work with than the Primo. I really like the Primo, but the Primo is super expensive to do big projects like this with. So I might have to get over that and just use that anyway, but because 
it really is sticky. So what I've been doing is mixing them together. So I have this project here that I want to finish, but I want to do it and I want to use like a color because I don't want to have to paint this. Now I don't mind painting one, but I don't do too many. That, that doesn't sound like fun. Not really, not in real life. But I thought it was pretty cute, but I just, for some reason, I can't get the stupid leaves to stay stuck on the dirt. Like it wants to keep coming off. Okay. And then the other one I was working on was sort of like um, a pot charm, right? So I'm doing like this cute little salamander. Look, so this is his head. These are going to be his arms, right? Because I want the arms. You can't see. Yeah, you can. I want the arms to kind of bend over and kind of hold on to the pot, right? Can you see that? I wanted to kind of hold on to the pot. So I wanted to bake this part first. This has not been baked yet. It's still raw, so it's still it's still bendy. See how it's still bendy? Um, so I want to do that first. And then I want to come back and put the arms on and possibly uh, finish it. I think I might end up painting this. I don't know. I, you know, I'm just making it up as I go along. There's no, there's a, a loose plan, but not <laughs> it's very loose. <laughs> so I don't know. We just, I'm just gonna do it. Okay. Um, I think I want to pull the camera down so that you guys can see more of what I'm doing. And even though I may be talking, you might not see my face, but I think that's okay. <laughs> if you are enjoying this video, give this video a like. And if you're liking this video, then most likely you will love our community. So maybe consider joining our community by subscribing to my channel and setting that notification bell on so you know the next time I put out a plant video, a craft video, and the shenanigans. <laughs> okay, so the plan is, I think what I want to do is I want to add some, I feel like I want to add some white around this because, but then maybe not. I made that kind of thin though. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I have some pieces. I'm gonna put them, pull this over here so you can see. Ooh, I wish I had done it on. Okay, so I have these pieces here, right? These are like clay sheets that I've already kind of marbled, and then I added another color on. And I'm gonna take. I have a pasta maker, which I can roll the clay through, and it flattens it all sort of like a, a wood planer um, but it flattens it all to the same depth and so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put this through the pasta maker and try to get some consistency with the thickness so that I can then um, wrap it around the armature which is this right um so yeah let me pull that through there really quickly okay so i have that and maybe i can take you guys let me see if i can pull it all the way up probably washed out a little bit can you not can you see that let's see look at the color the green in it i love that okay oh yeah that is really pretty look at this one i love that okay
or something. Oh, what is Ooh. man I tell you these uh oh, I hate the way this it just crumbles like this Yep, you're a dead one. I did that on camera, didn't I? <laughs> Ooh. You saw it taunting me. I, hey, hey. Now I'm about to remove his dead body from off my table. But he was taunting me. Ah, he's not dead. Seriously, little bug. You know what? No. <laughs> <laughs> Why though? Why? All right. So now what I'm making right this minute is the little arms for. And like I said, I'm kind of making this up as I go along. So look what color we have now. Look at that. That's cute. It kind of puts me in mind of, right? No? Kinda. Look at that blue and look at that blue. Am I stretching it? Maybe. Wait, no, look. Yeah. My goodness I'm I'm floored I cannot even tell you how excited I am to do this okay my stomach is hungry <laughs> I need to eat dinner it's like every bit of eight o'clock at night and I'm like but I don't want to stop. Okay, this is fun. Are we still recording? <laughs> Sorry. My battery's about to run out. That is so cute. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this up and I will bring it back to you guys once I'm finished with everything. Look at the little leaves, it's so cute. Okay, I'll bring it back when I'm finished, okay. you guys. Another happy Saturday. <laughs> so as you see, it's a different day. I finished up the projects, or at least I finished a couple of them. So I think you'd already seen this one. Um, I just, I want, I really made this for a Hoya but I didn't feel, I wasn't feeling it on any of the Hoyas. It, something about it just didn't feel right. So I said, okay, I will put this um, in with my Mikans. But I just thought it was pretty nice. The Mikans is, she does what she wants to do. And as you see, she is kind of getting better. I feel so much better about her now. And you know, she was struggling before. So I put the, the trellis on her just to kind of give her a little boost it's a temporary home she will um, be repotted or reunited with her cuttings very soon and most likely maybe I don't know maybe I'll keep it um she will definitely get potted up in a bigger pot and she will lose her her cash po but for now I figured this might be a cute little home for her the other one that I worked on 
the salamander is right here. Can you see it? Look! So, this salamander is protecting the mandula, making sure that the mandula is safe and that no buggies, no pests come and get on the mandula. So she, he is hanging on to the pot. He has um, a little grip. He's got the little Kung Fu grip and he is hanging on to the pot. Um, I love it. <laughs> I think it's so cute. I love it. So let's talk about how I finished this. So you saw I kind of took the cane pieces, cut them up, and kind of pressed it onto the under clay, the white clay that I burned, by the way. <laughs> so remember in the video, I was like, oh, I gotta go turn the oven off. I'm not sure if I'm leaving that footage in because this video is probably all together about three hours long. It's super long. But um, I thought I turned the oven off or I turned the timer off, the timer, not the oven. And I went back in and I was like, something smells like plastic. I just don't know what is that. I burnt the clay, y'all. What you gonna do with me? Anyway, it survived. It was a little discolored, but it, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. So this is the finished product. I think it is the cutest. So it hangs on here by this little, by the hands. It's got little fingers and everything. Oh, he, it's a boy. Doesn't have any facial features. I just covered him up, all the things. And I just thought it was cute. It was fun, really fun. Yeah, really. It was just about being a fun project. And then on the bottom side, since I ran out of the, the cane, I just sort of used some of the mixture of the two to make the underbody. So I love it. I do. I had a good time making this. The other, now, so this is the other trellis that I did. And I and originally had not no plans on using it on this Hoya. But I figured, why not? One, she is blooming, right? So she's got a little bloom right there. And I just thought it would be cute on here. Now, the this, I burnt this one too. <laughs> um, you know, I love it because I made it. Not because I probably would have found this in the store and bought it. My idea was I wanted it to feel like a piece of ribbon going through um, the the plant and so I kind of wrap the clay around sort of like ribbon or like material um, it kind of gives that uh, one thing I did notice is that the color of the clay got a little brighter than I uh, than than I thought it would be which was mm, surprising I wasn't I wasn't ready for that but I still think it's kind of cute um, I'm probably going to keep it in here I think, I feel like I wanted a black one, but now that I'm looking at it on camera, I don't think I mind the white so much. I think it feels okay with it. I'm enjoying this Hoya. This is the Hush Kaliana Yellow. Um, she loves it here and I love her being here, right? Um, so yeah, I think those were the, the three that, I, oh no, we got one more. <sighs> Isn't it nice that I forget stuff? <laughs> Uh, where did I, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, this was my thought. I don't like seeing the dirt in the, in the pot. And I was like, what if you put like little seams on the dirt, right? And you just kind of stick them in. They're not hurting anybody. They're not moving. They're not, you're not handling them too much. And I thought, wouldn't that be cute to kind of put some things in there? Now, hopefully, I don't think.
think this is going to disturb anything from growing. I think if I looked in there and I saw something trying to poke out and I felt like it was in the way, I would take it out. Now, literally, it's just like a little pick. Right. Did I break another piece? I did. So the one thing I did find with this clay, and I don't know if it was the clay that I used or the fact that it's really thin, is that um, these little pieces, the thinness of them, are a little more fragile. So for kids, I would be really careful with that, especially with younger kids. Um, they could break these and that could be a swallowing ha uh, hazard. So yeah, I think just learning curve. Yeah, these are pretty fragile. I broke off a couple of leaves and I was just gonna take some E6000 and glue them back on. But I mean, seriously, that thing is so cute look it is so cute <laughs> now i had a little hard time i think if i were when i do this again because i will do this again when i do this again i will um probably do more bakes in between i tried to do like one or two bakes and I think I would have done a better I think it would have come out better had I taken my time and did like a roll at a time because when you put it in the oven and it starts to bake I believe you know it gets warm and it starts moving and what I noticed was that it kind of like the top sort of kind of melted down like it kind of slumped as it was baking because these were all sitting up like they were all sitting up like you like you would normally see um young leaves on something like a different baki or something like that so it's a made-up flower it's not i wasn't trying to channel a flower other than you know maybe the perfect flower that will never never die never lose leaves and never get past <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I thought that was pretty cute. I like the idea of it anyway. Um, I might be a little disappointed if I bought this from the store and they're breaking already. But I think what I'll do is just make another one and use some thinner armature in the leaf. I will, I will make it in such a way where I can use some armature in the leaf. The leaf is just pure clay and it is stuck on some clay that is wrapped around a piece of metal as the stem. So the, met, so the metal armature is the stem. I put some clay around it and then I just stuck the leaves onto the clay on the stem. It's not a bad concept, um, but I think it just makes it fragile, which I, you know, actually it's pretty, it's fine, it's okay. But um, yeah, I think I'll try and do something better. So I like this in here. Now that I see it on camera, I like it even more. Oh, I could put a whole village in here. <laughs> that would be so cute. And this is so slow growing that I don't think it would disturb anything. I think I have an idea. Okay. Okay, you guys. If you like this video, please make sure you give this video a like. I need to know that you like this kind of content. I love creating this kind of content, but I want to know if this kind of content would make sense here on this channel, on this plant space. So if you guys are loving it, give it a like. Let me know in the comment section if you're loving this content. If I did not put the making of the things in the video and you want to see that because I filmed it, <laughs> trust me. There were three days of filming this recording. <laughs> Why do I say film? Like there's film. There were three days of recording that went into this video. So if, you, if you're interested in the making part, let me know. I don't mind showing that. I don't mind doing those things together. So if you're interested in that kind of content, let me know because I would love to, to, to swing in that direction if you're good with that. So, um, and I love saying so. Maybe I'll even do some sewing. <laughs> 
is probably gonna be on the shenanigans part because oh it's a lot of them i mean really <sighs> had a fungus net trying to steal the show i'm fumbling over my words yeah 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 anyway um thank you for watching thank you for subscribing um if you have not subscribed to this channel yet I think if you're watching at this point and you're not subscribed, come on, stop playing, hit that subscribe button. I'm a growing channel and I really want to have the numbers reflect the love that I feel for, from you guys. So if you're not already subscribed, go ahead on and subscribe to this channel. You will definitely enjoy more of the content that I'm putting out. Subscribe. Let me tell you what I have coming up. So related to this kind of video, um, the next video that's sort of in this series or in this vein, one of my viewers suggested that I show you or that she would like to see the pottery that I've made for my plants. So I thought about that and I was like, okay, I don't have a lot of pottery that I'm super proud of. No, I shouldn't say that. All of the pottery that I've made for my plants, I pretty much use it in some way, shape, form, or fashion. So I don't mind showing, but I've also made other things for my plants too. So I think I'll come up with a, a cute way to put tie that all together and make a video about it. So I definitely want to do a video about that. Oh yeah, so I'll also be making a couple of more things. I have an idea that I want to make something for a cactus that I have um yeah I really do think I have a cute idea I think it's I think it's cute um but I have an idea that I want to do for a cactus that I just bought that I haven't introduced you to yet so um I will try to get that done so that by the time I finish the video I can add it all in the video together so it'll be my pottery along with some other things that I've made, planty things that I've made, okay? So I'm excited about that. So you guys let me know, please let me know in the comments if you're interested in the making of these things. So until we talk again, you guys have a fantastic planty and creative day. Bye. But I had a really good time. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed this video, give it a like. Let me know that you like it. If I don't, it's a fungus net in here. Sorry, y'all. Ah. He knows I'm trying to kill him too. Ooh. Did I get it? <gasps> okay, anyway. <laughs> ah! Wire.